are grouped together because of the similarity of the signs and symptoms and because of some thing of the practices also. So these diseases are grouped together clinic and why as not included? Did he say that? Why as is kicked from clinical group? Different in chronic as is a uh, uh, and be there may be acute exhibitions of asthma. Something different in asthma than the two diseases. These two diseases are there is are reversible. Yes, sensitivity here in asthma. In asthma, the chief are reversible is these diseases are not exotic. They are a program trend. Reversible spasm here and secondary to allergens and one type of sensitivity. Sensitivity is in bronchial, but in the two diseases, uh, there is an up and in the problem of the disease. MERS, Bada, Juju, the changes are reversible. Okay, that's why uh, our group took. Now, what should be learning objective? Type uh, chronic obstetric disease. I have told you there are two types, but two diseases are together the clinic, and as in case, they are separate from. And there are common, there is a pity in both uh, CO. Uh, there is a shortness of breathless. The cause. COPD will cross uh, with the cause. We'll discuss is also that is the pathology. Being the pathologist, we are more interested in the pathophysiology, chronic obstruction. It is what be the morphology. How will we identify that this is COPD? We know the pathology. If we know the pathology, then we diagnose it. We will diagnose and we can detect. And besides morphology, morphology will give the diagnosis to the clinic and will correlate my find my findings with findings that are in the patient. So clinical features of COPD also be known. Uh, uh, was it and uh, these are our learning objects. Okay. No confusion. So okay. So uh, what is particular about COPD. It is prevent and treatable. We can prevent it. Prevent is better than cure. This character is feature. This airflow limitation. This airflow limitation is not reversible. Some limitation will remain because of the changes that are permanently that will be changed. And airflow limitation will increase by the time it is. And uh, usually, is a uh, associated abnormal inflammatory response. Inflammatory response is the main common enemy. These two diseases that is chronic bronchitis and uh, the emphysema is cigarette smoking. What is the cigarette smoking? Can any tell me? What is in cigarette? Smoking? Nobody. Is it good or bad? Carbon, nicotine, also carbon monoxide. More than seven carcinogens present in the smoke. It is notorious. Okay, fine. Let's go there. Why is important? It is important. Because it is the only chronic disease that shows progressive uptrend both the morbidity and mortality. Yes, what you pest smoking has sequelae. We are all pest smokers. It is also bad that we should discuss smokers to in our vicinity. Okay, a smoke should be prohibited. It should be specific areas where the smoker will go. 
पहले स्मोक पूरा करेगा ओके वेरी स्पेश गो एट एनी प्लेस नो वेसिनिटी ओके इज द ओनली क्रॉनिक शोइंग प्रोग्रेस video. पब्लिक Treating the related diseases. Okay, six million passive cases like me. So can you turn off your video, please? Will you? Okay. Now this is the comparison between obstructive disease and relative disease. Of diseases, the one is obstructive in which an obstruction the flow of the SD uh, in maybe a restriction flow. There is there is restrict cause of other diseases because in effect in root of the uh, rather there the restriction obstructive disease character limitation air flow or partial or complete obstruction at any level from take to respiratory level as you know the psychomatous region of the trachea into right bronchus and left bronchus further divided into on the right there will be um, bronchi on the left there will be uh, so on the left the two there will be first division of the bronchi into bronchus and up till present this was uh, secreting gland globulet cell seen but they are not present in the bronchioles pulmonary function limitation simple air during forced expiration decreased fe divided by forced capacity decreased it is in one it in uh, up to be with is labeled where this person or o7 this ratio is 7 in we are with this character reduced tension of the lung parenchyma conjugate air flow is okay but this restrict in the expansion of lung parenchyma total lung capacity will increase while the respiratory flow is near so this is this f1 and f we see ratio is 1 and it's normal it could be the chest wonders it could be acute chronic this respiratory airway disease lecture is not of the um, uh, about the respiratory airway disease is only for obstructive and one example ds and neosis okay coming to next slide this is total lung st is better. it will be okay, but the first expiratory volume in one it will be so this ratio reduced this is fe1 in obstructive air diseases so uh emphysema what the defect in emphysema air wall destruction is there because of this air wall destruction there is over inflation of these air we will uh, when we uh, when we will be uh, this the basis of emphysema okay Then uh, this is chronic bronchitis. There will be bronchus. They will narrowed the inflammation area, and then is the asthma. There will be reversible obstruction, and the hyper responsiveness of the bronchi to any allergen. Allergy. Okay. Is it you? It's normal. Yes. What is Yes, any interactive, isn't it? What is this? No, it means 
for getting you at me. Hmm? No, S is not else. Minus is something else. Terminal unit, what thing sack like it is sack? What included in this? After terminal bronchio, yes, it is alveoli. After the terminal bronchio will be alveolics are part S in but whole S is composed. Duct of yes, exocrant okay. Tarik, this is bronchiole. The terminal bronchiole, this is sinus. What included? Respiratory bronchiole is included in it. Apart from that, will be alveoli and alveoli. This whole will, this whole thing will be. SNS. Okay. Uh, question. Pulmonary atria. What is pulmonary atria? The part of the lung involved the exchange gases. That is uh, uh, the place where exchange of gases place. Is a uh, cluster of the uh, terminal molecules uh, containing four or five NI will be. Lobule, lobule lung. Okay, now you know that of the. Okay, coming to the next. This is the normal way of the lung. Now, reversible enlargement air space distal to terminal bronchiole. In empha, where is pathology? Pathology is distal to the terminal bronchiole. Irreversible enlargement the air space. Distal to terminal bronchiole. Here is the pathology. How this pathology occurred? This pathology occurred because of the direction of the wall. These spaces. What spaces? They are distal to the terminal bronchiole. Okay. We will see what causes was this direction. In spite of this direction, in spite of it, there is no process. But Recently, it is said that there occurs some, uh, some fibrosis. This airway fibrosis there. That fibrosis is distinct from chronic bronchitis. Okay? In chronic bronchitis, there is fibrosis that is sick, some inflammation. So, their significance is small airway fibrosis. This the terminal cure and to the air obstruction that is seen in eczema. That air obstruction cause of the of the This is, we will say how oh, it is that cause of that enlargement of the air is by obstruction. Now, we, how do we classify the emphysema? We can the emphysema is for only uh, symptoms. It is same, but it is for our uh, satisfaction that the thoughts are very fond of classifying the. Uh, four measures are there. SNR, SNR, that is all anatomical. Some causes so underlying. Okay. Uh, this is centria. In SNR, this is the tubular bronchiole, this is the respiratory bronchiole is involved, respiratory bronchiole is involved, and it is dilated. It is dilated. Uh, still part are here. Yes, who is this? Star F. Yes, good moist. This still part is paired. Then maybe the clinical will be the physical picture, will be the uh, cross picture of it. Let's show it. It will be this. They are done. You see, they are dilated. These are the uh, space alveolar. They are dilated. There are mingled with some non Sacs also. Okay. The picture is of the dilated and non dilated parts. The SCNA, SCMA. Distal part is paired and proximal is involved. This is pan S. Whole of SNS is in. Remember one thing. Pan means, pan SNR means it's the SNS 
that is involved the whole it is not pan it is pan s here whole of will be involved so the picture will also be changed it is like that all the alveoli all the sacs are fitted they enlarged i will show you why they enlarged can anybody tell me they are enlarged yes anybody who is no okay we will talk about it later then perceptual lymph uh, here the still part of the whole s is involved is still part near to the also this type uh, emphasis is seen near the fibrous or inflammation here the distal part is involved here emphysemas really are usually they they are captured into the as uh, to the complication of pneumothorax spontaneous thorax is also spontaneous thorax collapse of and it is a medical emergency and medical emergency it is to chest you uh come this uh, air that uh, to suck that that is presented uh, in pleural cavity okay distal part appeared elastic tissue scarcity no this the cause okay they need not jab nahi hota to we are seeing it here is the pic in this type uh, emphysema it usually associated with cigarette smoke and that para and as it is usually associated with the deficiency congenital deficiency what are you the only one attentive what about the others alpha antitrypsin alpha 1 and what it okay let we will discuss it. these are structure uh, of uh, centri sinar lobular lobular balance and irregular irregular is usually uh, uh, here there and uh, yes neutralizes proteases is this abra abra very good it neutralizes this is we will talk about it later from where the proteases it part of the pathology of the emphysema Irregular emphysema. There is a scar. And there is fibrosis. It is here. It doesn't affect the cl clinical emphysema. Does not touch of the clinical and it is mental only. This finding regular emphysema. Okay, uh, bronchitis emphysema. Inter exception bronchitis. The T. Okay. now to the next slide what the pseudogenesis emphysema so there is clear cut association heavy smoking and emphysema uh I'll tell you what that up 30 50 of the heavy smoke develops but copd patients who are heavy copd 80% of them are smokers now entry as in emphysema uh that associate there between cigarette smoking emphysema okay uh centri in our uh, occurs dominantly heavy smoke association chronic bronchitis and pest as in our associated with else an anti deficiency okay uh love anime pathogenesis coming back to the genesis i have a very good question animated for you i wish you okay what is there in cotin cotin is there and uh, nicotine there and also contains reactive oxygen species and free radicals and familiar reactive of species in red what do they are not told you read it in cell engine chapter foundation okay this 
protein it does it causes activity of macrophages that are present inside the capillary and react oxygen is fish and these activated macrophages they release the inflammatory cytokine you can a you can transport and to process bacteria so, and this 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 reactive oxygen is fish uh, a, a cause and this cause activation recruitment of trophies trophies yeah. no inflammation is there but macrophage is inside it is activated this nein has activated and these reactive oxygen species proliferate they have caused a ease of you can a contract the tumor necrosis that all they have activated these macrophages it release of substances the substance cause uh, recruit of these neutrons these neutrons they liberate the oxygen species they enhance its population and they cause uh, liberation of elastases you see these elastases they are from the neutrons then the elastic or these elastases they damp the tissue hides these active species they do inactivate antiphases uh, activate proteases this a functional trypsin c congenital absence is there and deficient is not there rather it activated the reactive oxygen species were present to back up you see uh this is the beauty of pathogenesis i'll say okay come to pathogenesis uh is reactive in species we don't only uh, activate the anti protease also damage to the directly damage the tissue and this cause the uh, damage to the tissue the tissue is damaged causes a digest of the elastases that is in the wall of the villi what is present in the wall of the villi all the envelope is tense thin parts and it is uh, adjacent very adjacent there it is glued to the endothelium it glued to the capillary wall it is as a membrane when the blood enters into the uh, capillary direct it diffuses directly into the alveoli okay alveolar phages are there that are for uh, releasing all these things when uh, the destruction of elastases that is present inside the wall of this alveol a plastic require of the lung diaphragm present to the small bronchioles uh, that respiratory tube terminal they are not support by it the, uh, the respiratory passage that is continuously opened because to the flow in that is no there and is tripping of the air inside the alveoli because plastic recoil is no there. okay next uh, what are mechanical is besides goblet metaplasm mucus plug of the lumen these goblets they are not present the bronchial or small but rather they are present in the lung cavity and they do but not bronchioles but they will they will be mesia what is the lining of the lumen of the respiratory body anybody lining epithelium of the respiratory tract nobody knows pata hai do stretch ciliated epithelium and the vocal cords they are squamous squamous stratified squamous epithelium so they will be met yeah this stratified ciliated columnar epithelium is there in the bronchi there will be goblet cell there occurs metaplasia of goblet cell what is metaplasia you know about what metaplasia 
एनीबडी basement adult cell from another adult cell there is no the cell i am zin no means I ever become mu is tar is tar ke des nahi he become a professor and can uh, but uh, uh, this will be because of words because there will be simulation so the steps are reaped and are produced is complex cell okay this is the difference between change and replacement uh to column that okay good beta plays the apple convert fibrous tissue to bone yes okay good okay coming uh, further uh in addition of the neutrophil besides this plasia is infiltrate of the cells uh like uh, with fills Messages will be there. Because alveolar messages are already there. B cell, pore, and cells. They will filtrate in the wall. And alveolar wall will be thick. Wall will be thickened because they will be muscle hypertrophy and bronchial fibrosis. These are mechanical changes that will appear and will cause obstruction to the flow. Uh, this the inflation of alveolar. This mechanic one one is function. Let's see this functional since I have told you that uh, there is a uh, potency of airways is of the while of the parenchyma and lactic required young parenchyma is because of present plastic tissue the wall of uh, these vena in the wall is L. Most of elastic tissue elastic Tissue will occur around the bronchial. What will happen? This um, uh, this tissue be lost, and you know why it was because it digested elastase proteins are liberated by the neutrophils. Then when no uh, stretch force is there, they will collapse these respiratory bronchial secretions. ठीक है ना? They will remain patent to come in and go out, not move, no strapped in. Okay, there is it inside uh, because a loss of attraction. Attraction is no now. When what functional obstruction occur? The mechanical as well as functional air obstruction. any decrease of this area to room ratio hmm? that is the exchange of gases only very good that is for the change of gas what will be the morphology in a once uh, cross appearance will be the walls long will be uh, big in size uh, so big that they will overlap the heart Two third of the is more severely affected you because tree loba, the centenarian upper lobes that are involved and in more common. <coughs> there will be large flaps or bull. I have what are bull or septal they occur um, formation and bull may to the plural. A bull will occur characteristic irregular edema second. scarring and i will be large in volume is alveolarly large in volume then uh, uh, topically the loss of amount of the alveol with the small is i have to why it was a thing gel will i separated by septi focal centri as in fibrosis there yeah, the pore cone is large and you know what is pore pores of a pore so because you know 
and me. I pray Willer walls destroyed. El Willer wall destroyed. No elastic is there. No wall is there. It's all by the neutrophils. There will be long vasoconstriction that lead to the changes that are in pulmonary tension. Later, when we will be with pulmonary tension, I appreciate this. Uh, are you the only one in the class? So, the destruction of the capillary bed because capillaries present in between the two walls, two walls alveoli. It will be blabs and inflammatory is in a small airways will be there, but it will be the sick effect because these changes occurring because of inflammation. Uh, then is the normal okay this is normal alveoli alveoli are normal and this is damaged alveoli see they large number large in diameter size more again this I see it here all sinus is here Yeah, yeah. Now, key picture. What will clinical picture? Uh, one third of is involved. This will not apply. Now, what are there will be dyspnea. Uh, in shortness, to start, it will be mild. It will be ingenuous in all. Slow, gradually, dyspnea will ease. It will be curved. There will be using like Say that it is asthmatic. No, it's not asthmatic. He is developing it's M5. They will extreme loss. So much the doctor will say, the doctor will say, or doctor will assume the patient is in some underlying uh, With emphysema, the chest will be bad shaped. Patient will sit in a hunched position and do a purse like that. Respiratory is the diagnosis. Spirometry, the lung test will show that the FEV is less one. But what is the death? Respiratory is and coma because exchange is not right. Heart failure because of pulmonary hypertension because of the fibrosis, gradual destruction of the lung tissues is called right sided failure is due to the sping puff failure. Sided heart failure, secondary lung uh, lesion is called. Do you know what is the term for that? Core pulmonary. Very good. Core pulmonary. And uh, there are massive collateral lung, second, the pneumothorax. Now, chronic is this about any question is regarding edema. You can ask now, you can ask later. Uh, so you can at any time my office also. Uh, what is a chronic bronchitis? Chronic bronchitis patient is very important because most of the time this is replaced by two atrocities when ask you about the explanation of bronchitis. Listen fully, clinic it is defined as person curve with some production. There should be product curve at least three continuous product curve for three months in at least two consecutive years. What is it? You say that two months, three years. Ulta that. And this thing will be left as chronic is any other identifiable cause these comes and it's not there. Okay? Clinically distant with spoon production, at least three months in at least two consecutive years, absence 
that they are identified by call. What's the definition? What is decline lung function? Lung function is decline. It might lead to core pulmonary and heart failure. Right sided heart failure, then digestive heart it may cause atypical metaplasia. Atypical metaplasia is dysplasia. What is dysplasia? Of the respiratory epithelium is dysplasia. Yes. Anybody? Siddharthul uh, lost architect. No. You can refine this. Dysplasia. M change of yes change ये तो बालूं करते ना भाई क्या हुआ एमर हाँ क्या हुआ displays this means disordered means grow normal absence of abnormal cells in the disordered growth disordered growth is organized cellular growth lead to neoplastic growth, low polarity, all cells, mature cells are seen in epithelial throughout it. Yes. Otherwise, uh, these cells they are to the basement and as they grow up, as they mature, they are ascending up surface uh, increase number of cancer for probably before perforation of basement membrane uh, perforation of basement membrane is in station. when intent is not it is displaced and this is accord mild severe here now uh, pathogen Cigarette, common enemy. Exposure to just or irritating inhaled substances as tobacco smoke. What it does? It causes irritation of the airways. It causes irritation of the dude because it is mixed with the air that is patient or the person is inhaling. So, it is irritating the wall of that passage. So to over this to protect the passage, to protect walls of wall natures, it is it is the blood cell causes producing cells to secrete and more mu neutralize effects. As this there is hypertrophy of mucosal in the tree and bronchi. Okay, Zayda Zayda to make his number of cells. Okay, increase in goblet cells, small airway. Small airway to goblet cell, nahi. Kya matter kya ho gaya. Or jo thoko the ka number in ho gaya. Small bronchi and bronchus, they are increased. They were excess of kya kya, both together work together hard and they produce more and more mucin. More and more mucin was for benefit. Uh, of, they're trying to paint the with it. This mucin is overusing now. It's overused now. And it is being a bolus thing, a ball thing. And this causes airway obstruction. And this is expected by inflammation. This when inflammation is there, rip is there. So it we think become more than inflammation is uh, regeneration is there. And this region after inflammation is with breast tissues, will be fibrosis. So this in fact super infection will acute or uh, expression of obstruction. Obstruction because of the introduction of mu so because hypertrophy increase in of those in produce plants also so there will be hypertrophy of 
hence they will trophy or in the number of cells they both are producing more and more mucin they both are causing they both are into the trouble they are trying to solve the problem other when things are in excess they are not beneficial they be yes then understood now uh apne chale yes uh cigarette smoke it exposes to infection because that it were the insert the body the body reacts in the inflammation so inflammation is the re reaction of living cellular tissue that is the definition of inflammation so this is an intruder causing an this is called insult to the uh, membrane of uh, the tree of air flow so this uh, infection it interfered with ciliary end of the respiratory epithelium what was the action of the respiratory epithelium what was uh, it meant the respiratory epithelium has cilia or what anybody seems i active with my only an interact to remove mucus from their way yes move the dirt particles in retrograde fashion it push up trap which is very good very good now responding so this with ciliary, this ciliary you know more be this. when this reaction is the infective agent will remain there mucus will remain there. rather it plug in there so things will become worse cause damage to the respiratory epithelium it inhibits the activity of the bronchial and alveolar side to clear bacteria theek hai so infections also cause infections of bronchitis not only bacterial infection they may cause new proliferation they cause uh, this uh, exacerbate okay uh this uh, the clinical features are the clinical features cut symptoms first persist for spark termination then there will be a amount of uh, so there will be dyspnea exertion the hyperthermia increase respiratory there will be decrease the oxygen and this cause myosis daughters why emphasizing they are papers hmm कहीं Smoke of the cigarette, of the cigarette environment. All there are a lot of pollutants are uh, are here. Okay, now passive smoke is they all suffer from it, and uh, we inhaling a lot of that are coming the factory that is coming the exhaust of the vehicles. Okay, is the summary? Bronchitis. Chronic cough, shortness of breath, in mucus, and clearing of skin. The ciliary act is in plus like mucus. It will come in the throat. We will try clear our throat. Okay, eczema, chronic cough. Yes, shortness of dyspnea will to start. Uh, it will mild gradually. increase and it will lead increase of breath ultimately lead to limit the activity in time okay uh read what is index it is important read index is ratio of the thickness of mucus 
hands to the from the epithelium to the cartilage. Epithelium to the cartilage. This is the normal it is 0 0.4, but in big bronchite, this ratio increases. Okay, this is rate, it is all. This is the inflammation here, here of the, this could do of their air pages. There will be in production of mucus or mucus. Okay. Here, this is the normal lumen of air passage, and this is narrowed. You see, the index is here, and this is the mucus that is exacerbating the situation. This was the situation. Not only the thick of this the tree is there, it is further, this one is further narrowed because of the collection of this mucus. Okay, for Emma, is there is a barrel chest. Later on, they will barrel chased. So this is not epithelium. Uh, just tell you what is neoplasia, the basement man, normal column epithelium is that is the cilia are missing. The reverse cell, the reverse cell, as this epithelium is heading down, these cells they are now developed into squamous. So that's why this squamous cell carcinoma is seen in the bronchi and rubble because of the placement uh, of this type of epithelium into this type of epithelium. This is a uh, historical diagram of it. Okay. Thank you. If you have any question to ask, and ask me uh, I say well, no and no. Questions? Mm. Let me, uh, you have stood it completely. Um, uh, what is emphysema? Yes, emphysema is a uh, irregular type of emphysema where here uh, it is near the scars is near to the process that is emphysema. These are the ways of emphysema. Uh, if you want to have a good uh, uh, this command on object, you do uh, is, uh, till there is a chapter in the book and uh, part of that uh, chapter for the PD. I think two pages uh, are covered, uh, are covered uh, I know three pages, are covered in emphysema, chronic bronchitis. Read it now, you never forget life. Of this basis of the disease, you can go with the basis of basic also. Is there always increased chance of corporeal complete after? Not always, but see, there is a good trend in the pathogenesis in pathology, progressive, you can't stop. So, it is progressive. Ultimately, patient will develop or pulmonary our chances. So, there are variations in the disease uh, from patient to patient because they are having a genetic makeup and we are for a uh, response to the injury response to these notorious substances is also not every smoker is or COPD not every smoker is developing this cancer only uh, would you be uh, would you talk yes uh, this is included in for a uh, module so this over one or two lectures on it and Dr. I will take it. Any more? Shall I put the session by saying good to you? Thank you, Bacho. Thank you very much. Thank you.